just have to be careful you don't tap it too hard that you don't. Uh, this one's hard to get back in there too. I wish I had my little air blowing thing. You get an air compressor, most people keep a little air compressor. I don't know what it is about burning. I know what it wakes up the, in the soil. I know it's great, you know, for attracting turkeys in the spring. Obviously that means a lot, but at the same time, I know I've watched places over my lifetime of doing this now, and watched them grow and mature and, and turn into better places. Obviously we're gonna help have better browse for our deer come spring uh, warm up. For sure gonna have better spring ground attractive for turkeys and for sure better poult raising ground because there's gonna be a combination of good nesting thick stuff, upper canopy and wide open, you know, beautiful, you know, open woods when we get through burning. Basically today I'm site prepping. It looks like weather conditions are, uh, are gonna be good tomorrow. Um, you know, there's a public road right here and then there's a property line on the north end of this big block of pines and uh, pretty much we want to keep it off the road so we have to wait to a good like north or west wind and you know a good steady one or we just don't burn don't ever burn ever until i've completely site prepped everything thoroughly and then back checked it and everything so i'm going to start today finish in the morning uh doing fire lane work myself and we're real lucky we missed the last rain the front came through dry and so i think it's dry enough we can burn tomorrow uh, as long as they give us permit in the morning. Right now, it looks like everything's great. And see, I parked the four-wheeler here on bare dirt, so nothing can get to it. Let's just see what happens right here. The relative humidity is really low, so that's gonna help that it's kinda wet. And it's going you'd be amazed that relative humidity will, it will take off. Oh yeah, I got my mixture just about perfect. It may not burn in these leaves very far, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Just came through here like five, six, seven minutes ago. And that's what you're looking for. That is a land tool like none other. Just transforming everything. Boom, that's called a head fire. That's just kind of a cross head fire, but that's about perfect. Good and hot and safe. You know, pine plantations like this, that some sunlight can get to the ground floor. When you burn off this, this layer of duff, this layer of needle cast, it's going to start that early successional plant growth. So that's going to be your grasses and forbs, things that are really going to benefit the turkey. So the first year, there's going to be immediate use from not only adult turkeys, but also your poults are going to be brooding in here. Hens are going to bring them in here to eat on the new growth, you know, the bugs, things like that. And in the second year of this, that's when you're going to start having your nesting. Um, so it's just a great way to help out the turkeys and quail and really all wildlife. One of the things I like to do when you get in these areas where there's a lot of fuel is you can use a point source ignition. So you're literally just lighting one spot. And so it's kind of got a combo effect of a backing fire, flanking fire, and a head fire. And so it's just going to kind of take its time coming through here progressively getting more intense, but I'm fixing a light one and then get out of here.
been a good day. I don't know what it is. I just love to burn. I love what it does to the land, what it does for the wildlife. It's just the coolest tool in the tool bag, as far as I'm concerned. But you just can't cut corners and you gotta do it right. Anyway, this one's really easy, really safe, and I look forward to it every year. It's kinda like hunting season, it's burning season. <laughs>